Hi great people, welcome again, Martin Unix here and uh, welcome, I'm going to show you another tutorial today. I'm going to show you on how to do lock knots on short dreadlocks without using rubber bands. Welcome guys. Alright, welcome guys. These are my lock knots. You can have a look. I've done some of the lock knots at the lower part of my styling. You can have a look guys all the way around. So now I'm going to demonstrate guys on how to do these lock knots without using rubber bands. I hope guys you are not going to skip the video. I'm going to take you through the demonstration process. And uh, kindly remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as sharing this work. And this is the way to go about it guys. Remember these are short locks. So by doing so guys you twist, you make two twist outs. Remember when, when the locks have got no volume guys, you tend to pick two strands, you know, so that uh, the style can be highly manageable. If you pick three or four strands, you will realize that uh, you will be coming up with a style which uh, somehow resembles uh, burnt knots. So now guys, we are going to use two strands make a twist out that way at the base by extending one of the log strands you fold it guys that way you just bend it towards the scalp surface up to a certain level guys where now you, you you pick the remaining strand wrap it around that way creating a loop as well as bending the strand at the scalp surface. Wrap it that way, guys, up to a certain level where now we are going to lay down the remaining tip that way and reinforce the remaining tip, guys, and secure it using the remaining strand that way. Continue wrapping around the lock strand. up to the hand. Now guys after wrapping your strands around to this level pick your crochet hook insert your crochet through hook through the loop pick your remaining tip and it will be precise guys don't pick at the hand just try and pick it some like one inch uh, backwards pick it pull it through the, the loop that way but don't let it come out guys leave it at some point and take out your hook that way guys you know this is another way of securing the lock knots without using rubber bands remember guys I've been showing you other ways of uh, securing the lock knots by pulling the remaining strand inside the lock knot. Now today I'm showing you another way of doing the, the lock knots. All right, guys, let's pick another two strands. Just twist them out that way. Remember to observe neatness, guys, as well as uh, putting in place all the factors that govern your styling. So after reaching this point guys, after doing this twist out here, just bend your lock strand towards the, the scalp that way. Then you wrap it around while working backwards that way to a certain level where now we are going to lay down the, the remaining tip. Secure it using the remaining lock strand that way guys up to the end we are now after reaching this point guys we are going to pull this tip remember to pick the tip at certain point guys don't pick the tip from the at the top that is pick the tip just like an inch from the the top that way pull it inside the the loop 
then you leave it at certain point at that point guys don't pull it all the way through then just and just the the lock knot to make it firm and leave it at that point that way guys you see all right guys let's do another section remember guys i just promised to to be detailed just for the sake of our beginners so this is my third lock knot just twist, twist it around that way making a twist out at the bottom then pick one of the strands bend it against your finger towards the scalp after reaching the scalp surface guys start working backwards by wrapping the lock strands against the, the skull that way pick the remaining strand guys wrap it around that way wrap it around around up to the hand where now we are going to pick just pick your crochet hook insert your crochet hook through the already made loop pick you are remaining lock strand at certain level guys that is just like a, an inch from the top then pull it don't let it come out don't let it come out the, the loop guys pull it leave it at certain level that way remember these are short locks and and just a little bit guys you can adjust your you can adjust your your lock knot just for manageability purposes that way just to make it more firm i leave it at that point that way let's do another one i'm gonna pick two swans Remember guys, these are styles for short locks. You can as well guys, do this style on long rocks. I've already done a video. That is guys, I've already done a tutorial on medium length locks. Doing these lock knots. You can revisit my channel for more about that. Twist the lock strands all together. That way guys. Then bend one of the strands to on the scalp for service that way rock your lock strand up to its end guys laying down the remaining tip then by securing the remaining tip using the, the remaining strand all the way down after that level guys now where we are going to insert our crochet hook through the loop that way pick your tip at certain level guys don't pick it at the at the top pick it an inch before its hand guys pull it don't let it come out the loop that way leave it at that level and there you are that's your lock knot guys remember guys that uh, these are short dialogue styles for women don't do this style on your male clients so guys kindly remember to subscribe show some love by sharing my work on different groups invite your friends guys to subscribe to my channel like and comment positively guys just to make to motivate our beginners and uh, i want to promise more tutorials as time goes by so just stay locked that way it's very simple guys a nice style for short locks as well as long locks i'm gonna bring this on long rocks all right guys we are almost done 
just to show you guys a demonstration as we do our finishing kick um, left out with four stones guys i'm going to take you through the styling process uh, bearing in mind that uh, we have beginners on our channel you twist out the two stones guys to a certain level then you bend one of the log stones which you have just extended downwards just bend it against your your finger then towards the skull surface wrap it around while working backwards to a certain level where guys now you are going to pick the remaining strand wrap it around that way guys it's a nice style for those people with short dreadlocks I want to urge you guys to try out this one I know you can perfect these guys and uh, just to just to tip you guys as pertains to these kind of styles guys don't do them to men these are styles guys meant for women so get informed now we are going to do the last one guys and you this these are the two stones which are many guys and we are going to do them all together that way slowly so that our beginners can catch up and you find if you find this tutorial stimulating guys as well as being informative and educative guys don't forget to subscribe like my work Comment positively guys just to encourage our beginners as well as sharing the tutorial on your platforms and groups. That way guys, after reaching this level guys you will realize that uh, we are left a loop here. Now you are going to pick your crochet, insert it through the loop, pick your tip to certain level guys like an inch from the top. Pull it through the loop. Don't let it out the loop, guys. Just leave it at that level, that way. Then just to make it more firm, you can adjust your 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 lock knot that way and uh, style it to your desired look. That way. Now, guys, we are through. All right, guys, this is our finishing look. You can have a look, guys, it's a lovely style. It's a style which was worn by women of cultural groups during the holidays, guys, just to symbolize the presence of women in the society, as well as, guys, bringing that aspect of pride, as well as bringing joy, guys, amongst the women. It's a nice look, guys. I want to urge you guys to try out this one. You can have a look. It's a lovely style for women, guys. Don't do this style on your main clients. So nice, guys. I want to urge you guys to subscribe to my channel, guys. Kindly like my work, comment positively, keep sharing. I want to thank you guys for being there. Thank you for watching my content. And uh, I want to urge you guys to stay locked on the channel for more tutorials to come. And if you find this tutorial informative, guys, don't forget to share on your platforms. Thank you, guys.